If you've watched more than two videos on this channel, you've probably heard me say at some point that not all states are created equally when it comes to states that support surrogacy arrangements. So let's talk about the states that ban surrogacy. What's up, it's Corlando Scott, and I am a surrogacy attorney based out of Los Angeles. That simply means that I've dedicated my practice to helping people have babies through stuff like surrogacy, you know, and other assisted reproductive technologies like egg donation, sperm donation, and embryo donation. But in this video, we're going to talk about the number of states that have varying degrees of acceptance or limitations with regard to surrogacy. We'll talk about states that have specific limitations on surrogacy, and we'll, we'll highlight the states that just flat out ban surrogacy. Let's jump in. As of the date of this recording, there's no federal or national, if you will, law that governs surrogacy across the entire country. So what that means is each state is allowed to have their own regulations. And the way that breaks down currently is we have 14 states that have very targeted surrogacy laws on the books, or they have specific laws that discuss the rights of a party in an assisted or third party reproduction arrangement. We also have 12 states that have strict limitations, or put another way, they have laws that regulate third-party reproduction by providing specific requirements, like requirements around marriage, requirements around genetic ties to the child, requirements around residency. And then we flat out have three states that still just ban surrogacy. Now, some of these have laws that regulate and limit who can really avail themselves of surrogacy and in what manner they can avail themselves of third-party reproduction. But then again, in some of these states, agreements, surrogacy arrangements, surrogacy contracts, if you will, they're just flat out void and unenforceable. And in some instances, there were additional criminal liabilities for anyone who participated in the surrogacy arrangement. So let's talk a little bit about those states that just limit surrogacy. And we'll talk about how they really limit it and, and what some of those conditions look like. In most examples, the states that apply those limitations to people who are undergoing assisted reproduction, they're usually conditioned on some type of family arrangement or status. What I mean by that is, what is the makeup of the intended parents? Is it a married couple? Is it an unmarried couple? Is it a same-sex couple? Is it a single individual? Another one of the limitations levied by some of these states is they may only allow one type of surrogacy. So we've talked about there's two types of surrogacy. There's gestational surrogacy where the woman carrying the baby is simply the gestational carrier, meaning she's in no way related genetically to the child she's carrying. They weren't created with her eggs and if she has a spouse, it wasn't created with her spouse's sperm. So in that case, we have a strict gestational carrier. The other type of surrogacy is traditional surrogacy, where the woman who's carrying the baby is genetically related to the child she's carrying. Her eggs were used in creating the embryo that turned into the fetus that she's carrying. So some states that provide these limitations, they will only allow one type or another. And most times, if they only allow one type, they're only going to allow gestational surrogacy or gestational carriers as opposed to traditional surrogacy. Then some of those states, they have limitations in the sense that they don't have any laws on the books. And that in and of itself is a limitation. So you have states with no laws that prohibit it, but there's also no laws that allow for it. So really in those scenarios, it's kind of like the wild, wild west, so to speak. You can just proceed at your own risk. There's nothing that's gonna support you in bringing that child home. There's no law you can point to, but then there's also no law that's pointing to you not being able to do it. So you have to be really careful when you're proceeding in a place that has laws like that. Another one of the limitations that some of these states with limitations <laughs> puts out there is that you have to be genetically related to the child that's being born via surrogacy. So if you're going to go on the birth certificate, that child had to be created with either your egg or your sperm. So that would preclude people who have sperm and egg donors. And then there are states that we won't name, like Arizona, that have really... All right, I'm gonna be a little messy, but it's just you and I talking, right? On the books, the law says, 
that they do not recognize surrogacy contracts. Yet there are still people who do surrogacy arrangements in Arizona and are able to obtain post-birth or, or pre-birth orders, most times post-birth. But that seems like such a risky thing for me if the law on the books in that state says that we do not recognize surrogacy contracts, it would just seem to me that it puts you in a lot of risk if that surrogate ever changed her mind. There's nothing you could do. You couldn't run to the court and say, but I have a contract, because they could answer, we don't recognize those contracts. Now, if you're working with a surrogate and you're 100% sure, which can we ever be 100% sure about anything in this life, but if you're 100% sure that everything's gonna go perfectly, then hey, maybe you can go for it. But just know there's limitations. And since I'm just going ahead and being a little messy and naming states, I wanna name some other states. But before I do, if you like the video, let YouTube know. Because if you don't let YouTube know, then YouTube is out there sad and wondering like, does she like it? Does he like it? We don't know. So just let them know. Just, you click the thumbs up button and then YouTube is like, thank you for letting us know. And while you're down there, just go ahead and subscribe and like and subscribe and share the video. So back to some name calling. So let's call out some of these states that ban surrogacy or sort of kind of effectively ban surrogacy. First on my list is Louisiana. Now I love Louisiana. I love Baton Rouge. Of course I love New Orleans. You know, there's some really cool things about Louisiana. Surrogacy ain't one of them. Now, I will say that Louisiana is not as bad as some other states. It could be worse, but Louisiana restricts surrogacy to residents who are heterosexual and who are married and who are using their own gametes. Gametes, a fancy medical word for sperm or egg, reproductive stuff. So you have to fit into a very specific box to be able to undergo or undertake a surrogacy journey in Louisiana. So what does that mean? That means if you're married but not genetically related to the child, nope, you're out of there. If you're unmarried but you are genetically related to the child, nope, you're out of there. If you're married but you're in a same-sex relationship, nope, you're out of there. If you are genetically related to the child but you're single, no, you are out of there. And if you're a married, heterosexual couple who's genetically related to the child, but either you or your surrogate is not a resident, then you, my friend, are out. No surrogacy for you in Louisiana. Also, there's a strict no compensation policy. So after you check off all those boxes, you have to find someone who's gonna do this for you altruistically without accepting any compensation. And that, my friends, is Louisiana. So for many people, effectively, Louisiana is just not an option. And you know, listen, my messiness only goes so far, so I'm not gonna pick on you, Nebraska, although I could, I kinda want to, but I wanna keep this video short and sweet. So, as much as it pains me, I have to pick on Michigan. As an alumni of the University of Michigan Law School, my heart aches when I look at the state of Michigan and their laws around surrogacy. I should call the Alumni Society. Maybe we should do something about this. This is ridiculous. Well, Michigan is a no-go state if you're thinking about going through a surrogacy journey. Why is that? Because Michigan law makes all surrogacy contracts, agreements, arrangements, whatever you want to call them, it makes them void and unenforceable. They say that it's contrary to public policy or the good of the public. And compensated surrogacy, if you fool around and try to do some compensated surrogacy in Michigan, you could be subject to penal sanctions. Now, there is an exception. They're, they're called compassionate surrogacy cases. Now, if you want to do one of these uncompensated or compassion surrogacy cases, as Michigan calls it, you may be able to get a parentage order stating that you're the parent prior to the birth. But the intended parents have to be married and at least one of the parents has to be genetically related to the child. So let me run through my list of no's for Michigan. If you're unmarried, heterosexual, and even if you're both genetically related to the child, the answer is no. If you're a same-sex couple using a donor or not using a donor, the answer is no. If no parent is genetically related to the child, 
The answer is no. Single parent, unsingle parent, any other combination you want to come up with. It's a very, very specific window that you have to fit through to go through surrogacy in Michigan. So Michigan, come on, come on. New York came, New York came around. Come around, Michigan. If you're thinking about going through the surrogacy process and you're wondering where to do it, when to do it, how to do it, and all that good stuff, don't worry, I got your back. I have something for you called my Formula for Successful Surrogacy, and it's based on my 3T methodology. And really, the 3T methodology is simply the three things that you must have in place in order to have a successful surrogacy journey. If you want to get your hands on that, just click the link in the description box below and I'll get it right over to your inbox. Let me know if you have any questions because I would love to chat with you about your own surrogacy journey. Go ahead and get that 3T training now.